In this sub-lesson, we are going to understand how zoning works on Cisco UCS and how to implement zoning using the UCS manager. Let's first talk about zone and zone sets. Zone is a collection of ports that can communicate between each other over SAN environment. You can understand zone as a private environment which will allow the communication between the ports only which are part of that zone. Anything outside the zone will not be allowed to communicate. The zones allow you to partition the fiber channel fabric into one or more zones. Each zone defines the set of fiber channel initiators and the fiber channel targets that can communicate with each other in a vSAN. So on one end you will have an initiator, whereas on the other end you will have a target. And using the zoning across the, the source and the destination or the initiator and the target, you will be able to communicate using or across the, the whole path. Now remember, if there are devices in the middle, say for MDS 9000 switches or your Nexus 5500s, uh, which support FCOE or fiber channel, there you will have to make sure that you're implementing zoning so that the communication can ha happen properly between the, the initiator and the target. The zones can be used to set up access control between host and storage devices or user groups, which makes sense because with zoning, you are providing an extra layer of security so that only specific initiators and targets can communicate with each other. Let's talk about some of the characteristics of zone. A member in a zone can access each other. Members in different zones cannot access each other. The zones can vary in size, and the device can belong to one or more zones. A physical fabric can have up to a maximum of 8,000 zones that you can configure. Now that we have talked about zones, let's talk about zone sets. The zone set is a collection of zones. It provides you with the flexibility to activate and deactivate all zone members in a single activity. Zone can be a member of one or more zone sets. But remember, only one zone set can be activated at any time. Zone set can be used to enforce access control within the entire fiber channel fabric. Now, there are two types of zoning that is supported. You can configure zoning using the UCS manager based fiber channel zoning, and you can configure it on the switches using the, the MTS 9000 or the, the Nexus 5500 switches. Now let's jump on to the Cisco UCS Manager to see how to configure fiber channel zoning. So we are on the UCS Manager, and under the UCS Manager, we need to go under the SAN tab, and under the SAN tab, we can go to the Storage Cloud because it's more relevant to storage, and we have an option for FC Zone Profiles. So we click on this and click on Add, or you can even right-click on this menu item and say Create FC Zone Profile. So once we do that, it will open up a pop-up window, and here you can define the zone profile. So uh, Prod Zone PF, and uh, you need to make sure in order to uh, have the zoning functioning or working, you need to have that in an enabled state. And then you can create a zone, a user zone. So fiber channel user zone, here you define the name of the fiber channel user zone, say prod user zone. And which path do you want to use? You want to use the path via fabric A or fabric B. So you will have to, if you want to use both the paths, you will have to create both those paths uh, or uh, user zones using both those paths. So we, we define it first using A, and here we define uh, the vSAN ID. So remember, we created the DC code test, so we are going to use this one. And uh, under here, the member worldwide uh, port names, you can click on create and, and use the zone member, the WWPN. Now, if you do not have that handy, if you do not remember or not sure of this option that you want to set, you might want to first decide before setting the worldwide port name for the zone member. So let's say we define the, the value, we say 5001, 
and we enter the number that we want to set. Well, I have entered a random number, but in, in case uh, of your production environment, you will make sure that the, the FC zone member worldwide port name uh, is something that you can account for or you know it is uh, what it's supposed to be. So we click on OK. We have added the worldwide port name for this, and uh, we can click on OK. And now that we have created one, um, we have added the user zone, we can add another one to go via Fabric ID B. So we can click on this one and say using Fabric B, prod user zone, and just use the name hyphen B. And we can use the same uh, ID. And the DC core test, now if you want to use a different um, vSAN ID, you can go ahead and use that one. And similarly, set the FC zone member worldwide port name. So this is how you can create the zone profiles and the user zone on the UCS manager. We have created the prod zone uh, profile under the storage cloud.